what we got here today is the the Muse API. Muse API is what Museo talks to uh, in the cloud to manage the dialogue and generate things to say and recognize faces and all that. And just for demonstration purposes, we built this front end so that we can show you better some of the major things going on behind the scenes. So I log in with the demo account and here you see some of the main things that Museo keeps track of during the conversation and we will just start by saying hello, how are you? On this panel, it shows Museo's opinion of the user. And this is uh, what, how nice Mu the user has been to Museo. So basically, it's using some uh, sentiment analysis on the text, and it analyzes the user sentences. And if the user says nice things, then Museo has a good opinion of the user. This one is the other way, user's uh, opinion of Museo. If Museo says bad things, then user will have a bad opinion. And if Museo says nice things, the user will have a good opinion on the user. On this panel is the emotion of the Museo. We analyze the emotion in eight categories. And they are anger, anticipation, disgust, fear, joy, sadness, surprise, and trust. For the given reply, Museo says, have you been all right? The emotion associated with this sentence is mostly sadness and anticipation. This panel, it's the emotional content of the user. The user says, hello, how are you? One of the higher values is anticipation. We can keep talking. I have been all right. What is new? And on the right, you can see that this is a museo's memory. And how this works is you extract subject, object, uh, verb, triples from the user sentences and then displays it in this uh, graph format. So for example, if I say dogs are scary, it will remember that dogs are scary. Below here is uh, analysis of the user's intent. And at the moment, we only categorize the intent of the user into uh, seven. We initially implemented this with the hope of implementing some of the like assistant features, like user asking for weather, like asking for time. Instead of writing a bunch of like rules to filter these sentences, we just trained the classifier to figure out what the user wants. And for the thing that we just said, which is dogs are scary, it gave the label other, which means it should go to more of the general conversation engine. And here is potential responses. And this is what the engine thought would be appropriate choices in response to the user. So when I said dogs are scary, the Muse engine decided to say, Nah, that's cute. I like small dogs because I can hold them and pick them up and stuff, and they never knock me over. Which is, I'd say, a pretty good response to that. And on this panel, bottom right panel, you can see potential responses that Museo could have picked from. Some of them are, mine is the white one, the other one is my neighbor's new puppy, did you have to train them to use the litter box? So you can see that the potential responses pick up the, the context and retrieves uh, sensible responses. There's more going on behind this chat. The chat session here you see is a combination of backend APIs. And we actually have a documentation for most of the 
the backend features that we make available to the developers or anybody who wants to use them. These include some authentication stuff like signing in, creating members. It also includes some features like, okay, here's one called the uh, chat question. And what this does is given some context text, it'll return some question that's relevant given the context. So you could use this API for making your chatbot. Say, for example, you want your bot to ask the user some sensible question every five turns or something. And then every five turns, you just call this API and then it'll give you a sensible question that your bot can ask the user. Um, and then it has some NLP APIs, extracting identity, analyzing emotion, gender of name, intent, score based on language model, uh, quality of the input, because the actual text that comes is the output of STT, and sometimes the output of the STT is not, not so good, because sometimes you would pick up background noises and whatnot, so we made a simple like classifier to distinguish like good output of STT as opposed to bad ones. So we make this also available. And we also have some uh, vision API where you send an image and then we extract, extract the caption from this image, detect objects in this image, and we can also generate a question about this image. And then we can also compare this content of the image um, based on the, the memory that the user has during the chat session. So for example, you show a picture of a dog and then user will remember that the user had said dogs are scary, something like this. So all these little modules that come together to make Musio uh, function in the way it does, we also make it available to uh, other users. And we also release some example code. This one, I, I named it Curious Bot. And it just keeps asking questions after questions, given the context of the conversation. And here's one that's called Monologue. It basically uh, creates two instances of the bot and then like have them talk to each other. Um, and we also have the pre-built chatbot API, which put all these little features together in a way that we think is sensible. So that's a general overview of the <coughs> user API.